How are you? I'm good, Gail. How are you? Delightful. Yeah. Yep, doing good. You hanging ready out, to, to show me? You yeah. ready to learn me something? I'm gonna learn you. I'll school you. School me. Yeah. Oh, I like that. You or maybe said, I don't. You said folks are asking how to program the PID on the Opera PID that we install on there on Ranchulio. Yeah, so we did a very kind of cursory explanation of this before, so I thought we could get down in it. Yeah, well. I said, I think it's complicated. I'm going to pull up the direction. <laughs> but really, it's not very complicated at all. Okay. So. This is how you get in. Right now, this is programmed for 221 degrees, and it's going to maintain it within one degree of whatever that is. <coughs> 221. If you want to change it, you have options of changing the temperature, mm -hmm. the pre-infusion time, the wait time, and the brew time. You can change those to whatever you want. And okay. this is how you do it. This is how you get into the program mode. You go like this, and then you. this is your scroll. It takes it over. Scroll, 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 and then up to one. Now we get in there, and now we're into the program mode. Now, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, let me... Okay, that's the temperature. The, fir the SU is temperature, the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can scroll over again and change it to 222. 223, whatever I want. I'm going to leave it at 221 because it seems to work well at that. Mm -hmm. And then you go, okie dokie. Now I'm going to scroll up to skip those. Don't even get into those. Those are not things you want to program or mess with. LP is, and it says in our directions, LP is pre-infusion. Now I get into the pre-infusion. We have it for 1.2 seconds. I want to change it to, I'm going to change it up to... 1.9 seconds. I just like that number. No, I like 1.8. Okay? We're good there. Mm -hmm. Now I scroll to the next setting, which is LD. Now this is the wait time. We have it set at 2.5 seconds. I can again scroll over. And this is the wait time between pre-infusion and, and the beginning of the extraction. The actual brewing where the pump kicks in. Okay. Take it up to 2.6. We're good there. Now I'm going to go up to the next setting, which is LB, and that is the actual brew time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get in there, and we have it set at 25 seconds. I think 25 is pretty good, but I could change it to 26. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you want to get out of here. We've set all the parameters that are important. Temperature, okay. pre-infusion, wait time, brew time. Okay. Now you just scroll until you find end, and it could be it's, you know, you can go in either direction. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make any difference. So I'll get to end. End and then boink, done. And you're out. Now, Gail, why is my machine set to 223 degrees? That's too hot for coffee. It's the outside of the boiler. Okay. The actual temperature on the inside of the boiler, and by the time you get to, gets to the brew head, it's going to be more. It's it's a offset. So because we you can the way the boiler is designed, you can't actually have a thermostat inside you of it. Can't have a probe inside of it. Okay. There's All right. no way to. It would leak. Okay. <laughs> And that would be no fun. Not as much fun as we... It might be fun. <laughs> <laughs> but it might be dangerous, too. Never... If you like fireworks and electrocuting yourself... Well, we'd be, we'd be just outside of Yellowstone by about, what, 600 miles, and we'd have our own geyser right here. Exactly. <laughs> cool. All right. So that is programming the Auber PID. Now, when you have the, <clears throat> the PID on this machine, yeah, people go... Like this. Mm -hmm. It's not brewing. Oh. Okay. I might as well throw this in while we're here. Yeah. Uh, you have to have the brew button on all the time. And then what makes the brew happen is the PID controls it now because it's doing the timing and all oh. that. You, this is how you start it. And that's how you stop it. Okay. But if, it, you, if you want to stop it without doing the... Interrupt it. Interrupting. Yeah. I okay. just, I'm not going to let it go through all the paces. But all right. You know what? Maybe we should show the people. Gail. You don't want to see it. No, I was just like, you were like right in front of the I was like in your ear, basically. It was in your grill? Let's let it do its thing. It's going to be, uh, you know what? It doesn't have any water. No, I was like, that pump sounds a little uh, yeah, hardcore. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, anyway. Um, you now, get the idea. Yeah, so when you do, on this particular machine, um, uh, it's doing like, 
X amount of time for the pre-infusion, X amount of time for weight, and X amount of time for extraction. Those are all being added together. Yes. Right? So, so we're at about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Machine, okay. So, so when you're calibrating it for your coffee, you should take into account that your pre-infusion time isn't being dis dis uh, subtracted, subtracted from the shot no, time. No, it's a part of it. Yeah. Because you're putting water down on it. It's mm -hmm. starting to do its thing. Okay. So include that in your assessment. Yes, ma'am. And test that. The beauty of this is it keeps it at whatever temperature you ask it to do. Mm -hmm. And you can alter it for different coffees. Play yeah. around with it. See what tastes best with your coffee. Have might, fun. Might be 213. It might be 200. It could be who knows what. Or could be what it okay. really go. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Have fun with it. Yeah. Experiment. Have fun. That's what it's all, all right. about. That's why you got it. Cool. All right. Thank you, Gail. You're welcome.